Hello everyone. Welcome back. So. <laughs> the last part of the stream was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> to say the least. A very hot, messy disaster. Not in the way people usually like. <sighs> well, I hope that... If anything, this stream is working to entertain or for you guys to relax a little bit. Now that everyone's had, had a long day. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not I'm not gonna be doing that again. I'm gonna Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> don't worry. No, definitely not doing that. So today we're gonna be continuing with... Oh. Is it not? Uh, it's... There we go. We're gonna be continuing with Valheim. And Ashley! Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? And I just hope you all have a nice chill time. We're gonna pick it back up with Joe Smithson. The most creative name. And we're going into the world of Ingolf Schofalverfi. Sh Doing well, so I just finished playing Mario and eating hot pepper jelly beans. And I was crying on stream and I don't remember the rest, genuinely. I have no idea what happened for most of the, the stream. <laughs> I feel like I didn't get to enjoy a very good game. But other than that, feeling great. And now I'm just playing a, a survival game that is genuinely very gorgeous. I always just love looking at the sky. I don't know if I hear bad guys. Yeah, so thankfully... I can take a break from doing that and do something a little bit more relaxing. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I would do. Oh, oh, I need it. I do need to change the name of the game. Uh huh. This is just gonna be a very full on chill. Got the name of the game. But yeah, after that, my brain is on half speed. <laughs> like, it, it's taking me a while to think. <laughs> Just really. <laughs> so. I'm actually kind of glad I'm doing something a little bit lo more low. So what's the plan for today? I'm gonna... Recollect myself here. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna finish building the house. And we're gonna get ready to f go fight a boss. So that's the th two things. So, for people who weren't here yesterday, es essentially this game is kind of a mix of a more realistic looking Minecraft in the building side, but it has goals and bosses that you grow towards and you make yourself better to reach towards instead of just, you know, it just being about building and you don't have much direction. It actually gives you a direction to go towards, and that is. To me, as someone who kind of didn't really enjoy uh, survival games that much for a very long time. It's kind of a breath of fresh air that se seems more interesting to me than anything else in the genre at least. 
right, so we're gonna break him down quite a bit of this. We're gonna be redoing this whole part. And hopefully now that I am a bit more practiced in doing this, that'll this will go a little bit smoother than it went last stream, because essentially we're building this the entirety of last stream. And that is not what I want to be doing today for the entirety of the stream. Oh, and I need to eat. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know how to eat anymore. Yo. <laughs> it's a very aggressive breakdown. That's chill. Wait, oh, my hammer broke. You are exposed. No. I messed up. I messed up. Let's switch. Second. So that's the one annoying thing. You can't sleep or use your workbench for fixing stuff and doing stuff if they don't have a roof on top of them. And that to me, that to me is I think my only, the only big problem I have with the game is that that makes no sense. <laughs> Why does it, I'm okay with the bed. Like, yeah, you probably don't, but a lot of these people, you know, especially since it's trying to be a little bit, obviously it's still very fantastical and whatnot. But since it's trying to be a little bit more realistic than something, say, like Minecraft, you would think you would think that they'd be they they'd allow you to just have a bed out in the wild. Uh oh. All right. So this is what I'm gonna do. And a boom, boom. And so this side. I'm just gonna do a flat roof, just going up, but before I had it kind of like a tent, and I'm just like going to like a TP style, like meeting at the, at the middle. Now I'm just gonna do it in a way that it kind of just goes in one direction. And I will do the same with this side, except one thing I was going to do is actually I was going to bring out the front a little bit more. Now I should actually be able to fix my stuff. Really? Okay. All right. So, you know, thankfully, a very different speed, at least for me. Very different speed to what we were doing before. There we go. Oh yeah, and you actually need the support thing in this game. In this game, so I do need to have support beams for things. So structure is actually important, and to me that's really interesting. As someone who loved playing a uh, bridge builder in computer class growing up, oh, bridge builder is a fantastic game. If you've never played bridge builder. You're missing out. You are missing out. The bridge builder is fantastic. I love bridge building. Um. Anyway, that sounds like whatever that sound is sounds like a. I think it is it a creeper or a skeleton in in uh Minecraft. The and it freaks me out. You think I like bridge? Bri yeah, I love bridge builder. Bridge builder is the bomb. Bridge builder. Also, hey Kylie. Oh, you can see the structure of my house. Also, a great thing is that you can reach pretty far on this, so you don't have to worry about... Look at all this wood. Ugh. Oh. me happy. can put some... wood away, so I can carry more wood. Wow, I filled up on wood already? Alright. And the roof. Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... Still open the wrong menu every time. Um, I'm actually kind of happy that... <laughs> some people didn't get to witness what came before. <laughs> and they're just seeing this super chill stream. <laughs> like, oh, what a what a pleasant stream. No. Nothing crazy happening. And I'm glad. I'm glad you I'm glad you're here to witness this. Alright, take care, Flair. Thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna move my my door to here. The door here. I'm gonna have the door ready because I know that there's a bad guy just waiting. Go. <laughs> no worries. Feel free to come back whenever. I'll probably be here. I'm thinking of streaming till around midnight tonight. So, there was a long stream day because of the Nintendo Direct. I really wanted to... Really wanted to watch it. I was really excited for a lot of the games, and it, thankfully at least one game was really exciting. To see. And... Too bad it, it's gonna take a while for the game to come out. <laughs> I was gonna... I was really excited, but... It's gonna be a while. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna need. Actually, gonna boom there. 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 Look at all the baddies. Just. Ah, oh, no, snow. Oh, it's gonna ruin my fire! No! <laughs> well. Being wet, as you can see in the top, being rested is a good thing in this game. Being wet is a bad thing. Uh, I think it makes you recover sm uh, more slowly. Uh, oh, so this side will be a 45 degree angle side. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's too far. Okay. Boom. 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 And now I'm probably going to have to start building some supports. Because I don't think it'll be able to take... And... Oh, what came before? <laughs> so, so I played Mario. As... You know, as I have been. But the catch was... I did the hot pepper jelly beans... with every time I died. It was not a wise decision, to say the least. <laughs> it was not a wise decision at all. But, we're here, we're alive. I almost, I almost wasn't, but, well, Thankfully, the I'll be uh, <laughs> uploading the VOD soon. So you'll be able to witness that disaster happening live. Well, not live, but you'll be able to witness that disaster happening. And oh boy.
If you build your roof too wide, you will need to put a support post in the ground under, under the floor. Under the floor? Yes! So actually, let me check if the baddies are still out here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Get my club out. If I can club some people. So this is what I had to do. So it does become weaker. So you have to support it like this. So if I did just do something that protrudes out, you do need to support it. Which again, really cool. And it, as I was mentioning, uh, bridge builder, it goes by color. So the more towards the red the color is, the least, the less support it has. So here, here it might start. It's okay still, I guess, because it's pretty close to the land. Uh, but you, we'll look at the the, the roofing, and you'll be able to see that. They are orange up there because it's becoming weaker as we go. So what I'm gonna do is actually reinstate the same pillars that I had, so the ones right here, just because I think the ceiling will hold. I think the ceiling will up to this height. We will see. <laughs> we will see. Um, oh, it holds though because of the pillar. So it's, see, it it always starts off as green until the game calculates what it should be, and then it shows you the actual color. There we go. Oh, that's off. And the cool thing, too. Oh, hello, Flare. Have you ever thought of playing Raft? I'm not a big survival game guy. Like, this game actually caught me by surprise. I have not tried ra Raft. Uh, maybe I'll like it, but usually I don't. <laughs> I'll, I'll be completely honest. Usually I don't like survival games. I think I'll need... Some support here. So this actually, interestingly enough, it mixes the right things for me. Where, like, I don't know if other survival games would. So, like I was mentioning, I love bridge builder. So the building mechanics of this game are actually super fun to me. I, I <laughs> the last stream, I spent pretty much most of it building this house. And it's super fun, especially with a friend. Maybe I'll try it. What was this? Okay, good, because someone, if you build your, someone I was watching one day spent almost two hours trying to build a roof that kept falling on her and she didn't know why. Then the next day, she asked someone and figured it out. Yeah, no, thankfully, I have Ark. Ark, I don't know if he's here right now or, like, what he's up to. But he is, he is our wise guru. So, thankfully, Ark knows what's up. And he's pretty good about giving all the helps and all the good jams. Yep, bot art. I think this is a good idea. Okay. Also put the triangles. Our fancy little triangles to close the roof. Can't believe my fire went out. I mean, makes sense, but no. Nope. I like that you can destroy whatever you built. Oh, I'm out of wood. I like that you can destroy what you built and regain the ingredients for it. That's one of the more annoying things that I never liked in the few survival games I played in the past, was that if you didn't like something then that you built, sometimes it would just break. 
and that was it. And you were doomed. For the rest of your life. Do they have any cool lamps or torches in this game? They do have torches, and they stop the enemies from, like, attacking you. And they do have fire, but because of the rain, it kind of killed my fire. And I'm sure... So the cool thing is, too, this is just the beginning of building, but I feel like some... Just like something like Minecraft or whatever, it gets really deep because only... Uh, there's already another item I can build, which is the... Oh, you can also make standing wood torch, which is this, the... No, not the raft. Crafting. The chopping block, if I put it next to a workbench, it actually allows me to build more advanced things. So, I'm guessing that there there's quite a bit more that I'll be able to, to do here in terms of that. Because it does seem like it's still, I'm still very much at the beginning. It's still going to open up quite a bit more. So I'm. that's one of the things that I'm really excited for too, is just the possibility. It's kind of, I think, when I did play like Minecraft and stuff, part of the excitement back then was like not knowing. I feel like now people know everything about Minecraft, so it kind of lost a little bit of its, its coolness in that way. But anyway. So there's still a lot of unknown, and I think unknown is a, a very big thing for me to enjoy a game like this. Because if it's unknown, I think it's a lot more exciting. Ooh, I'm about to close my roof. Okay, so I think my fire save. Yes. But what I can do is use wood. And now you can see my wetness meter is going down really fast. I can close the roof here. Hopefully. ominous outside. I love the music, too. Oh, it's good. There's something outside. I don't like it. A little bit too dark. Oh yeah, and one of my complaints. You can't put... You know what? I'm just gonna sleep. I'd assume you're you're not a big mind... Yeah, not really. I haven't played in years. <laughs> this game does have an air of unknown. Yeah, I think that that's really cool. And it's such a mysterious world. It's not just like, oh, random blue sky or whatnot. Like, you go outside and you have, like, this beautiful... And, you know, it's based on, on Nordic mythology, so... To me, that's still something I've never... Despite really enjoying just mythologies in general, I've never really gone into... Uh, really reading and getting to know uh, Norse mythology. So it's still a lot of concepts that maybe if I knew a little bit more about it, would be more of, you know, something that would just be a given. It's way more mysterious for me. You know what? I'm just going to build a, one of these. Just for building. There we go. There. 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 There we go. Where 
really yellow? Are these walls too high? Now I just need to add... I need to add half a wall. Once I'm done with this, which I'm pretty close to doing... Oh no, I actually want to leave it open. Because the whole thing is... So smoke can suffocate you, which is another thing I think is kind of cool. <laughs> Not, you know... You know what I mean. I don't want anyone suffocating, but... You... I'm actually going to close this floor. But I'll... A little, a little of that kind of becomes a little chimney. There we go. So as you can see, it rises, and I'm making it so. You know what? I could just straight up make a chimney. I didn't even think about that. I could just make a chimney. That's not very viking though. I'm not making a chimney. I'm keeping the viking aesthetic going. There we go. And I'm gonna close the floor. So this is, right now I'm just doing it as if it were just a, a nice house building, which also, another game that I just love the house building was The Sims. Oh, I'm not, okay, at least it's daytime, so we can go gather some more wood. Okay. Um, <laughs> what we're gonna do here is, uh, how do I make a torch again? Oh yeah, it's in my inventory. How do I... Oh, I'm out of wood. I don't even have one wood. Oh, I just picked up a wood. Okay, perfect. Alright. Torches. Chef's kiss for killing enemies. Because they're afraid of it. Aha! Oh, he, he doesn't seem very afraid. Oh, there he goes. Fear me! These guys are nasty. The stars, more stars mean the harder the enemy is. So. Should add more windows to my house. <laughs> Looks like just a big wooden block. Thank you. And one thing too that I loved when I played this the first time was the fact that you should check out the game House Flipper? No, I love House Flipper. House Flipper is also Chef's Kiss. But... Th that's the thing, House Flipper you don't have to worry about. It's a little bit too just on the aesthetic side and less on the structure side. I like being challenged by, like, having to make a... a house stand. Also, yeah, if tree hits you, it hurts you, it can kill you. And also, hello Cam, how are you doing? It can hurt you, but... Oh, oh, like that. I should eat. But it, uh... It also destroys the things around them, so trees, and even, as you just saw with these smaller trees, it can, um... Uh, they can take them down for you, so... It's actually really cool that the physics applies in that way. That you can use a tree to take other trees down. And take enemies out. So that's also something I really like. 
It's cool to see that this is, you know, such a new game, especially in terms of like, it's technically not even out, right? Because it's in early access, but you know, what is, what it even is? Oh, oh no! <laughs> what it even is being out nowadays. You should try Streamer Simulator 2. I don't know why it came to mind, but I heard it's fun. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll try that one. I saw that one. It looked so janky. <laughs> Streamer Simulator looks so janky. Like, it's another one of these early, <laughs> early access games, but that one looks like it's early access. This one actually seems feels pretty solid like it looks really good it's pretty like i i haven't gotten to show the like oh i love that i love that the god rays mm. the colors too i highly recommend this game i'm only playing it for the second day but First day, I'll already play quite a few hours of it. Ooh. Boy, are you falling. Timber. This would be game if you're playing with... Oh, if you're playing with people. <laughs> you should totally yell Timber. Because you could kill some... Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. You can totally play this with other people on your server. It's just like a Minecraft or any other game like this, I guess. Compared to Minecraft a lot, because that's what I'm familiar with. And I like that things don't spoil. At least they don't seem to. So I have cooked food, but it doesn't seem to spoil, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I hate when you have- oh. Yeah, run away. It's funny because they keep following you, but they won't attack you. Because they're afraid of the fire. Oh, that guy was a little bit stronger. Come back. I need to recharge my stamina a little bit. Yeah, I'm sh they, I feel like they could definitely improve the AI a little bit. So definitely something they can they can work on. Peachy Keen, how am I? Doing a lot better. <laughs> Doing a lot better. It's uh bit of a bit of a rough stream earlier on or not bad reason well, oh. some could say oh that's coming towards me is that a baddie Hello, buddy. Here. Oh no, my my extra's broke. Oh yeah. These guys are weak enough. But... Am I on max wood? I am. I'm on max everything. Okay, I gotta go back. Why is this color different? Oh, it's lower health. Are we repairing? I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... Maybe add some... Some windows. Oh, these are a little bit rough. Are they hitting up top? 
Are these okay? I guess now a lot of my wood is just... Oh no, it actually doesn't use a lot of it. Yeah, there's a bunch of little things that I'd ask the developers to improve still. And that's the cool thing they do. They seem to be very, very much on like... Oh, well, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Don't rest. Very much listening to the community and to all the things that need to be improved about their game, which is always really cool. Yeah, I was I was reading about this game and just looking around, and it seems like everyone is just unanimously well, maybe not unanimous, but people are very, very much enjoying this game across you know many different backgrounds of game playing. <laughs> Did he toot on you after? He fell asleep. It was like a thank you toot. These guys just keep showing up. Leave me alone, man. Now you're gonna run away. Oh, that's a big guy. Those big guys, they don't they don't mess around. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. They don't... Those bigger guys, they don't, uh... Run away from fire. Which makes it very difficult when you're just a level one dude. I'm not a level one dude, but... I'm gonna use this tree. Get away! Get away! scared. Maybe I can make a level 2 club. That would definitely help out. Because the only, re only reason I can remotely even like go up against these guys is because of the torch. If I didn't have the torch, ugh. Yeah, they have very grabby arms. And they have a bag on their back, a rock bag, where they put probably all the limbs of the children that they take away in the night. And I'm not into that. That's my that's my lore that I'm making. They're kind of like the... The boogeyman. Granted, they could be a family. And I'm just kind of... killing them. There's some small ones. Maybe I'm killing the children now. And this is like the Papa. It's like, Papa, Papa! There's me, me! So the Papa came, and but now I'm just like destroying the entire family. I'm making this really sad. to hug you or tickle. You know, we never think about the feelings of the monsters. I guess that's what Monsters Inc. was all to be about, supposed to be about. I don't think... I don't think... Actually, no, I don't think it was supposed to be about the feelings of the monsters and how they... Very much about just why monsters scare kids. But I feel like there was a movie or something about monsters and, like, them wanting to... being misunderstood. It seems like it would be a very... common theme to do about, like, monsters being misunderstood. 
Doesn't that sound like something you'd see? <gasps> I have to think about monster. Like, it feels like it would be a, a DreamWorks movie. Like, them just talking about monster feelings and the monster being like, Yeah, we are misunderstood or some, or maybe a Pixar movie and then it's very artsy. Yeah. No. Or maybe a Blue Sky Studio movie. Oh, wait. What was I doing? Just gonna put another one. Here. I'm gonna just finish getting the wood that I gathered. This is the most wood I've gathered. <laughs> I know. Too soon. Too soon. Get away! Get away, boar! For those who don't know, Disney closed Blue Sky Studio, makers of Ice Age. I know that if some people are still in the chat, they will be quite sad that the Ice Age studio has been closed. Yeah, so the, these pigs are aggressive right now, but the bird that keeps coming back and tutorializing the game for me told me that the pigs can be kind, so... I'm just not really messing with the pigs. Because you can, you can farm pigs. You can make a farm. That's a cool thing about this. I was just looking a little bit more today about this game. Yesterday. And you can straight up make towns. And that's really cool. You could eat pig. I have actually some pig meat. Is it this? No, this is grilled necktail. Cooked meat. Yes. That is the one. Alright, so I can finish up the house now. Why is this low? Weird that some of these are hello. Oh well, maybe maybe I do need to. Let's finish closing off this floor. I do need to support it, because it's getting weaker for me. Can I go up through here? Yeah. Point this I might make a little balcony. Yeah, this is kind of cool, see? Have a little... I'll make a little balcony like right here. Oh! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Necktail? Feet? What? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Yeah, no, this game, this game is gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. Um, let's see. So... But I definitely do need... Maybe we can do... What can I do here? Let me to have a nice little... Maybe this? Maybe this. 
music is getting ominous again. Here. I'm making a really complicated house. <laughs> I'm going crazy with my house. Here we're going to add supports. So that it can stand. There's a lot of baddies. All right, we can we can go take a take a quick sleeping break. I'm gonna take a quick water break. You stand at the prow of a leaping ship, the salt spray before you, and the joyful shrieks of gulls above. Sleep and eat. Sleep and eat. Eat some hot jelly beans. One of those raspberries. I'm surviving on one raspberry a day. <laughs> I am surviving on one raspberry a day. Not the healthiest. I feel like maybe close this up, just up to the, keep pressing the wrong, Ta da here, no, how, how would this work, oh can I not turn this upside down, yeah we need to turn this upside down, I don't think it lets me do that, left shift, Toggle snapping. Yeah. Sadly, I don't think the game lets you do that yet. Alright. See up here. What I'm gonna do to finish this roof. Oh, I'm getting caught in the smoke. Maybe I will. Did I just see the bird kind of do its thing? Is the bird waiting for me outside? Hello? Bird? Are you there? Hmm. Thought I saw the bird. That shiny light over there. I don't know why I'm going for it. Everyone knows. During the Viking era or pirate era, you really don't want to go to the first shiny light you see in the water. There's Siren. What? I just walked in the water. Well met. Scra! Come back! This is a dangerous place. You have wandered into Black Forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove you're worthy, Miss Link. I fear. That's why there's so many monsters coming in. Whoa. Look at these colors. That's why there's so many monsters coming towards my house. It's because I'm right next to Bad Guy Lair. Oh, well. Okay. I think I might. I don't think this one is touching. Good job. You live on the edge of danger. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I'm just gonna raise the floor a little bit here. 
Uh, da Which, it's my hope. I need to use my hope. Okay, and I want to level ground. There we go. And I'm gonna destroy this. I don't need it anymore. I think I am just gonna build the chimney. I think it just makes it so much easier. Honestly. And repair this. How do I repair a door? Repairing a door. What do I go into repair mode? forget how to repair. Alright, so let's finish this house so that we can... That's the thing with this game. I'm like, oh yeah, finish the house. But it takes quite a while. Because <laughs> you just get... invested in all these... No... in all these things that you gotta do to finish building the house. And then you're like, uh-oh. Guess I'm not finishing the house yet, because I'm doing a billion other things. Alright, what I'm going to do is actually build a chimney here. going to be the first Valheim house with a built-in chimney. Maybe it is. Maybe I can call that. Am I gonna have a weird protruding thing from my house? Sure. Am I gonna have the best house in Valheim? Maybe not best house, but the most smoke-proof house. Boom. I just need to finish building the top. birds coming through my house. Okay. One. A two. A three. There we go. It might not let me build there because how I did it. Actually, I might need to remove this tile. I'm missing wood. Oh, I have a bunch in my... <laughs> no worries. I have a billion... No! Fire. Okay. I have a billion wood in my... thing. I should probably fix all my stuff. And again, this music, fantastic, it's just so soothing, I love it. And then here I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do a half seat, just so we have like a nice little, just can't fall here. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of damage from the smoke. Now, I'm gonna close... the roof. So I actually can close these now.
time to close the roof and the chimney. I should probably close the top of the chimney because I won't be able to see it. I think I should be able to just finish the roof. And that will be it for my building section here. make it a little bit more palatable that I have this big thing I'm gonna make it as if it's a separate little room I'm gonna section off Now I'm just going to finish making the supports. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Press the wrong button. This is fine. This is fine. We are prepared for this. destroyed my chest. Just destroyed my chest. Okay. Yes, we do have a proper house now. It is all ready and cozy and I'm making rooms. The only bad part is that we have very loud neighbors, apparently. Yeah, I can definitely close up a little bit of this. When you forget how to play the game immediately while you're playing the game. gonna do to give this room a little bit more privacy. I'm just gonna close it up. Boom. Here we're gonna put a door. I really don't like that the doors are single. Hi. Look at that. That looks kind of awkward. Looks like a hobbit door. I really don't like these doors. I'm gonna do uh, a gate. The purpose of these gates is they're like supposed to be like gate gates, but I feel like they're the only reasonable doors in the game. Stop doing that, Rods! Okay. Boom. Like, this is a reasonable door. Whoever sleeps here, gonna have quite the view. Well, this is a uh, kind of the the guest room. Maybe I'll put a uh, a little chest right there. That's my. That's 
my what I'm working with here. Now I'm gonna. Um, everything's actually holding pretty well. I say that. Uh, but oh, there's no connection. I guess I should just finish building that. <laughs> the structure of the house so that it doesn't fall apart. There we go. Then up top, should do flats. little bit better. Thinking here I can put a, a half size. Can actually protrude it out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I can make it so that chimney opens on a side. No, that's gonna put a bunch of smoke in here. Never mind. Because <laughs> I know that some some bigger houses do have that where the chimney kind of... No. Boom. Look at this. Look at this. This is quite the house. Who wouldn't want to stay here? Now I need to kind of furnish the inside. But this is the house. Boom. It's ready. Maybe I'll make a window here. Yeah, I'll make a window. Check this out. Yeah. And this will be the last bit I'll do today. For the house. Then we can go adventuring some more. Nope. Boom. 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 And it's protected because of the little patio. So now even the person in the bottom can get a beautiful, gorgeous view of the outside. Everything meticulously thought out. Okay, so how do I fix things again? I legitimately forget how to fix things. <laughs> I have to repair. I select repair from the menu. That's right. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Same? Same for what? Which one of the things? Alright, have a good night, Erica. Thank you for stopping by. You stuck around for quite a bit of, uh, <laughs> of the craziness today, so I hope you rest well. Hope you have a good night of restful sleep. And I hope you have an awesome day tomorrow. I hope BB doesn't wake you too many times tonight. <laughs> See? Yeah. It's right there. I'm gonna need to be really quick.
and he will me. Okay. Well, I just... Yeah, I just hope it is just one time, and you can go back to your slumber. Slumbering is good, let me tell you. Hmm. Nothing better than a good sleep. That actually should hold it. Yeah. Pretty well. I can make this. Boom. Then do it right here. Sleeping is underappreciated. Blair says sleeping is underappreciated. Like all humans hate going to bed. Once they're sleeping, they don't want to get up. It's true. It's true. And it's one of those things that, yeah, since you're a ki kid, you just hate going to bed, hate sleeping. But, oh. <laughs> Q says, Kylie says, oh, I love going to bed. But yeah, but so many people. I mean, even as a kid, you'd never want to go to bed. Ever. And that's crazy. Because, like... What? No! No! My chimney! I thought because of the angle of the rain, it wasn't going to happen. I'll be. This holds back the rain, but that doesn't. Ah, uh, oh boy. All right. I know what we gotta do. We gotta farm a little bit more, and then we're. Go I'm gonna go searching for flint because I know that flint is what we need. To upgrade our workbench so that we can create better gear and better materials and then once I do that oh I see you baddie uh oh uh oh I just realized I don't have uh oh ooh there we go yeah, the torch probably won't work, or I'll ruin it, but... No, one thing that this game actually looks a lot like is, uh... It really reminds me of... It really reminds me of Breath of the Wild, graphically. Especially when you have the... Especially when you have the the sun hitting the grass and stuff like that. The Breath of the Wild, ooh. I think there's a before and after. Um, Breath of the Wild came out with how people did a lot of the graphics kind of stuff. Or weather and all this kind of jam. And I love how people have been doing grass after Breath of the Wild. so sad um are there drastic changes of scenery i don't know i don't know there might be but i don't know that is one thing that now that i had my house complete well i was hoping but now i have this chimney problem oh, i should keep that this way, this way. Oh, I should probably put my arm up. Trophy, feather, this, this. 
flint I need. This seed so I can plant trees. I didn't even think about that. Leather scraps, I'll put it here. Go out for some more trees. But yeah, I definitely do want to find if there are more biomes in this game. Oops. And I'm sure there are. Are there any big survival games that don't have multiple biomes? Again. Survivor, survival game newbie here, so. Ooh, look at the, the wetness of this tree. You can see the shiny. Wait, oh, oh. Ooh, that surround. Breaking, uh oh. You get away. He has two stars? No wonder I died so quickly. Look, the little chimney looks great. Ah, oh, this is a real storm. If it worked, little chimney. <laughs> Just close the door on the back end. <laughs> yeah, screw you guys. I think I could get some cheap shots in. What game should I play for? YouTube, since I reset my YouTube account, since all the old vids were bad. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this game, if you're into, like, survival game, might be a good one, because I know it's getting big right now. A lot of people are talking about it, a lot of people are playing it. So it might be a good one. But it also depends on the stuff you like. I think the best you can do is if you're doing something you like. Think of all the big streamers. They started off with... That's the thing, too. You need to kind of find your niche. And that's something I struggle with, because I, I don't have one game that I just love playing forever. And I think that that's one of the things that makes it very difficult for me, specifically. Is that I don't have a niche to start from. I kind of just go with whatever I'm enjoying playing at the moment. But if you have a game that you really love, you're really passionate about, and you think you could talk a lot about it, and just keep playing it for a long time, that is probably the best idea for a channel, for a stream, or anything like that. That's probably... You'll probably hear, if you ask other people, you'll probably hear that from them too. Do something that you're passionate about, because you'll be happy, and you'll be able to do more and more of it without getting fatigued. Because it's a, it's a job, if you do it especially, like, if you want to, like, become a YouTuber or whatever, it's very tiring. You're working quite a few hours a day, but you want to play Pokemon, but you're not good at commentary. Honestly, commentary is something you practice. In the beginning, I used to be way worse. I don't think I'm the best at commentary. I think I'm, there's still a lot of room for me to improve, but I used to be way worse. <laughs> so it's one of those things that you kind of start practicing. It's the one thing that it makes it a lot easier is if you do it with a friend, because when you have someone there to talk to you, it makes it a lot easier. So all the other difficulties you may have while you're getting used to doing it are eased a bit because you have other people there with you. So, if, you know, something makes you uncomfortable, if you have some difficulty in the game, it's a little bit easier if you have a second person. 
and then once you feel comfortable doing that, then you can go on and like do it and do it on your own. That's something that helped a lot. I someone that's been on the channel multiple times, Jojo, we should actually record and stream a lot together. I did do a lot of stuff before doing it with him, but I remember it being so much easier when I was doing it with him. Just because of that. So even after you get better at doing it, it'll still be easier doing it with someone else just because of the nature of it. But it's one of those things that that will definitely like you can still do it on your own but it, it is harder it is harder for sure so one of those, those things that if you're able to definitely try getting someone to do it with you someone that probably enjoys the game the games as well so someone who loves pokemon screw you get out of here get out of here Ooh, the sun's coming out Whoa, that's kind of cool. I should play Webkins one day. I should. I should play some of those. I should not only play Webkins, I should play a lot of like those types of games. I should just go back and have all those childhood games that I enjoyed and other people enjoyed and kind of see if they stand the test of time. But sadly, I think we all know the answer to that. <laughs> it's clear you bro god bap bap bap. Oh, 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 it's not raining anymore. Aha! Yeah, okay, they're running. This is, this is the best hack for this game. Do it with a torch. Beat people up with torches. That is my the best tip I can give. <laughs> Club Penguin, yes. <laughs> Would watch 24-7 a web, webkin stream. <laughs> Hey, maybe it's coming. I mean, I finished Mario. Maybe that'll be the next one to fill that that spot in the schedule. <laughs> maybe I will. I, I feel like that could be a, a nice one-off. This kind of thing. Maybe that will be the next thing. Maybe on Friday. Because here's the thing. I personally never played Webkin growing up. Or Club Penguin. Uh, but I could definitely go to all the Flash games that I <laughs> used to play. <laughs> Too bad that Flash kind of died last year. They finally finished killing off Flash. The Disney Channel games. Yeah, it was, for me, it was more the Cartoon Network games that they had on the website. I wonder what happened to all those games. I actually used to really love those games. But I remember... I remember those were the websites I would go to. It was like Disney, Cartoon Network... Oh, look at the grass. I just really love that. Yeah, I feel like we all played all these games that no one will ever see again. And that's kind of sad. I, I want... I wish there was a better... Like, a, people were a little bit better about saving those games and keeping those games. Well documented, as hours of so many people's lives <laughs> were spent playing a lot of those Flash games. 
Clash game flashback. It's pretty good. Yeah, I know that there is, it's, it's very interesting, at least to me, that, you know, there is such a, a big push to kind of archiving a lot of these games, not just the Flash games, but even games that come out on, like, consoles and stuff, just because a lot of them disappear, especially a lot of the older ones, and, you know, they, there are people that did care about them, you know? Oh, I didn't want to, but they're just lost forever for a lot of, Boar, get out of here. <laughs> Just running away from a boar. Okay. Stopped following. Did it stop following? Oh, it didn't. Screw your boar. Give me your meat. Dude, I remember playing cool math in the computer labs when we were supposed to do <laughs> I or the typing games the typing programs that they would use to teach us typing always had a bunch of typing games that you had to type the word for or we would play other games that you know we weren't supposed to be playing like Icy Tower oh Icy Tower was the bomb if you've never played Icy Tower you're missing out. I did this a little bit too far. Get out of here. Okay, I need to do something about this. Well, we missed out because we can't play it anymore. Unless it isn't Flash. Yeah. Oh yeah, they canceled all the Flash. Yeah, actually, we might not be able to do that at all because they canceled Flash. <laughs> Which is very sad. Like, Flash doesn't exist anymore. They actually just finished killing that off last year. Last year was the last year of Flash. Boom! Fixed. So, I'll have to look into it. So yeah, probably won't be this Friday just because I'll probably have to do some research. I can't play them on the websites themselves if I can find another place that I can play them on. But, I'm actually going to move this door. you guy coming here throwing little poops at me and running away I hate the fact that he runs pretty well <laughs> you think that you know about them finishing flash, but yeah, no. <laughs> hey, don't don't give people away. Some people like staying anonymous. I'm sure that context clues will tell you if they are or not the person you think they are. <laughs> Oh. 
valid placement. Because my... What am I missing? Oh... I did the thing again. I need to have a workbench. Don't don't out everyone. Some people do want to remain anonymous. <laughs> I was joking about Ash, but there we go. There's the house. It's actually pretty nice. Having nice little windows. I might destroy this and add more support. Horizontal support beams. Over here, over here, over here, and over here. And then remove this. Boom, now I have a nice porch. Or whatever. Here we go. Welcome to my abode. So now I'm gonna actually get started for some adventuring. After I sleep. <laughs> in your dream, you sit beside a fire in a great hall, surrounded by the chatter of fam familiar voices. Their faces blur like smoke. <laughs> when everyone discovers who each other are... Time for adventuring. Adventure time, come on, grab your friends. I need to find Flint. Flint? Flint. Flint? No. Nope. Need 10 Flint. Maybe I'll be able to start mining. The first time ever seeing one of my streams was three years ago. Or two years. Yeah, I know. No, I've been... I've been streaming and or making videos online for a long time. I don't know how many of... Or if anyone came from the YouTube channel back in the day, but I started in 2008. I've been technically doing this for 11 years. No, well, 13 years now. <laughs> So, a little bit of time, you know? 13 years of your life. You know how it is. Close that cap. Come on. fire you didn't I mean it's not a rule of like oh you can't discover people or whatever it's just some people do like to stay anonymous but I think you're we're fine I was mostly joking so it can actually fit. Uh, 
There we go. That's good. Boom. Oh, this music though. So soothing. I need to find more flint. How much flint do I have? Flint, flint, flint. Six. I need ten. Ten flint. Hello, little geckos. They're the ones that give me necktails. Because they're the necks. Flint, flint. It seems like all around me are the danger zones. Danger zone! And... Deposit. More flint. I don't know where to find more flint, though. Oh. Flint? Nope. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, oh! Will you have any sibling guest appearances? Maybe. If siblings do want to sh come on, I wouldn't mind. I'd enjoy it. Could play a number of games. Play this in multiplayer. Could play Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Hmm. How do I get more flint? Stone. That's boring. I don't care about stone. Among Us? Maybe I'll do Among Us. Maybe if we can get a bunch of peeps together. Hey! I'm improving my skill of swimming. Stone. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> we look just here. <laughs> Can I get a fish? Yeah, we could definitely do that. We, uh... Get some people together and we just... I'll just start streaming it. Honestly, I think Among Us is one of the easier ones to do that with. Because anyone can play. You're really making me run to find Flint. Rods can't be the imp or you guys can't watch the stream. The thing is, if we're all on calls, you don't need to be watching the stream necessarily. Because we will be talking to each other through a call instead of through just chatting on the stream. Oh, here's some flint. Does flint grow in water? Well, it doesn't grow. But is flint usually around water? I never really, I never really thought of that. Any f rock experts watching the stream? Could use stream a Zoom call? We could, or we could use Discord. We could use a number of things. There is 
a number of things we can do. Oh, is there a new a new person in the server? Say hello to them. No one be rude. Oh, am I full? Full of stones, my kidneys. Danger zone, danger zone, danger zone. The music was about to get scary. I was like, oh, okay, he's running back. Still following me. My weapon out. You gonna keep following me? Oh yeah, I would love to play a game with a bunch of people. I think that, that would be would be really fun. I think that would be a really good time. Okay. Oh yeah, too much I do have too much stone. Hello. Jackbox games, yep. That's another good one. Those are all games that like work really well, especially for for just streams in general. They're great games. <gasps> I have it. I can Ow. Who are you? can finally upgrade. Let's see what kind of upgrade options this game offers. We might be able to go fight the big boss soon. Big boss. Um, let's see. Hmm. Here. Here we go. Flint hook air. Ooh, we can do arrows. That's fun. So we can do... Rag tunic, rag pants. Oh, maybe I should get some pants. Fire arrow, arrow, flint axe. Sharper than stone. Crude bow. Flint knife. Flint spear. Upgrade. Oh, I'll do that. Upgrade all my tools. What do I do? Bone fragments to upgrade club. Too bad I can't mine. I want to mine. <laughs> I just want to mine. Can you hunt and cook food in this game? Yes. Yes, you can. You can hunt the deer and all the other animals, and you can cook them into... Oh, yeah, I never did that here. I did do it last night, but then I completely removed it from my house. <laughs> Uh, here. You can have a little... little thingy on your fire. And with that... Here, let me get, actually see. Oh, I could build fences! I don't really have any need for fences. Furniture... Uh... 
stone pile. Oh, I can make a stone pile so I don't have... And a raft. Alright. So, but then I... Go here. And I can cook. So I go E. And I put a, an item there. I go E. Put an item there. And I, you actually wait for them to cook. And in a little bit, they'll be good. Oh, I'm pretty happy that now everything is working properly. The... Hopefully the chimneys. Yeah, the chimney is working. A wooden chimney. Don't recommend. That. There you go. That one's ready. That one's ready. So now I have grilled the neck tip. Yeah, I wish I could mine. I wish I could just have a pickaxe or whatever. Oh wait. Do I have to? I'm being stupid. Do I have to instead click this? No. Okay, it's just wood show. Oh, I can make wood arrow. Need yeah. wood spear, wood shield, a lot of leather. I th thought I had a good amount of leather. I have three leather. Yeah, a good amount of leather. Whatever. <laughs> what, dude? What the hell is the name of the pig meat you have? Oh, it's just this. It's just called cooked meat. And this is the grilled necktail. This is the pig meat. I'm saving it for a very special occasion. What, <laughs> what is a necktail? Let me find one for you. They usually stay close to one. There it is. There's one. That's a necktail. Is the little water lizards that I've been killing. These little guys. Hello. They're very weak. But they're necks. So, their tails are called neck tail. I think that's, that's all there is to them. The little lizards called necktails. Can I use anything to break stones? Zero. Zero. So I, can, I just need to keep finding flint randomly by the water. That feels like a very inefficient way. Maybe there's another way, but I just have no clue on how to do it. Necktail. Oh. <laughs> Seems like they would hurt your stomach in real life. Probably. Yeah, we don't really eat any reptile meat in real life. Are there any reptiles we eat the meat of? Aren't. Do people eat alligator meat? In, like, regions with crocodiles or alligators? Is that a thing? Feels like it would be really gamey, if anything. Yes? Oh, here are the... People eat alligator, snake, and turtle. That's that's right. People do eat snake. People also eat tree frogs. Boar, are you really gonna? Now you're gonna run away. I really didn't want to kill all the boars. Oh look, they got some meat. I really could have just built my house up here. <laughs> Would have avoided a lot of the trouble. I think I'm just gonna look it up. How to get flint. In Valheim. As I feel like that really is the... Oh! Is that a building? Someone building? In my land? Oh, 
this doesn't look very... Oh, I can repair this. Oh! There's some random... Oh, I just actually built this. <laughs> I heard frog legs are good with lemon. I had not heard that, but honestly, it kind of sounds true. You'd want to have kind of a zesty flavor to your frog legs. By the way, eating tree frog is a lyric in one of my favorite songs. And if you know it, you know it. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Man, this game. Hello. I can just go at these guys with no fear. But yeah, so we should totally... I'll talk to everyone on the Discord, since that's kind of a, where everyone is. And we can start organizing maybe some game nights and a lot of stuff like that that we can... Oh, fog. I wonder if... I wonder if Hamy is still around. Because we were making a game together once. And... It was... We were lovingly calling it the Doge RPG. So, it was all about little dogs. And I was designing some of the enemy. <laughs> so it was all about like dog memes and stuff like that. So the different doges of the world. And one of the dogs was this really... Oh, I wish I still had the drawings. <laughs> one of them was the dung fog dog. And... It was like, it kind of looked like a yin-yang, but it was a dog made of fog. It was some really wacky stuff, but it was a good time. It looked like a throne. How many peeps are on your Discord right now? I don't know. I don't know exactly. I feel a little bit aimless right now because I want to, I want to mine and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Can you guys see when I do this? Oh, oh, my in-game Steam thing doesn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my room and we're gonna search this together. All right, let me try that fire here. Let's see. Oh, oh. Still have. <laughs> nope. Still in the game. Let me pull it up so you guys can follow along. Valheim Flint. Let's see. Flint locations. So Flint resource spawns out in the world near bodies of water. Get out of here. Uh, 
coasts and ponds. Search on the shore, shallow waters for rocks. Okay, find plant longer and flatter stone. Be wary of necks close by. Low level enemy, which can spawn around far. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we... <laughs> Look at this guy's little cabin. Our first house. Way better than... <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't really... Okay, can you... Can you... Mine in... Well... Yeah, I mean, if you want to mine, go play Minecraft, I guess. But unlike flint and stone, you won't stumble across... Can I... I need to venture more dangerous territory to find... Okay. I just want to know how. I really don't want all of this. Do you just never mine flint? I get how to find flint. I just want to know if you... Alright. Alright. So it seems like the only way is finding it in the shoreline. That seems not very intuitive. There we go. Let me close it up. So, I guess we're gonna just go... I guess every survival game like this does have its little lol, lols and stuff to do. Remember. I guess a lot of Minecraft is just you mining away. But it is a thing, too, with just new games. You don't know exactly what the best manner of progression is. And it is serious, guys. And part of it is definitely discovering it. So I guess the way I was doing it was was the right way. I just need to. I think it needs to be in the shorelines of the meadow. And right now it becomes black forest. So I I literally built. my house on the little bit of meadow that comes out to the shore. So that is a bit problematic. Did you know you can make it rain food from the sky? What? You just need to gather some flint. Cut down some... Yeah, yeah. It sounds like when people told me my uncle was the owner of Nintendo. I don't know if I believe in raining food. person could. Alright, so I'm gonna try to find more bodies of water that are in the meadow region. Instead of black forest. So I'm gonna stick to the to the meadow region here. Yeah, one... I feel like one of the first things you learn after you spend a lot of time on the internet is just that a lot of people are... And again, you might it might totally be something that you, you can do in this game. Just make food. Oh, there was a house ready. And I spent all my time... I. This is why you look around. Maybe there's a house ready for you to just take. You don't have to build one from scratch. 
with a bed. Oh, is that a beehive? Ah, oh, it's a beehive. It's a beehive. <laughs> it's a beehive. Okay, let's open the map. This is all I've exp- Oh no, I'm getting closer to this. So it seems like it becomes dark forest the more northward you go. I'm actually going towards the boss, which is not what I want to do. So. There you go. Yeah, I just one of the things I see the most whenever I'm just watching someone else's streams or anything. It's just people trying to catch them to say like really dumb stuff. So like you know, like when Ligma was a thing <laughs> and anything like that. It's kind of funny how universal it is for people to just kinda of wanna do that. <laughs> Cause that's honestly Every stream, it seems like there's at least one person doing that. Oh, I wonder what... Well, I guess... It's kind of obvious why people do do it. People do have a... A fascination with it. Especially when it's... It's someone that is more in like... A public figure or something. Oh, is that another water line I can go to? I can find a bunch of What if this was a way better place for me to have built my house? Don't you dare have a bunch of flint here. <laughs> I would actually prefer to have flint rather than just complain about not having built my house here. Hello? Where are you- <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh, hey! It's like... The whole story of just following the leader. In this case, the leader went head first into- There's land across the- Excuse me, boars. But yeah, were you actually serious, Matthew, about the... About that, or... Or are you just messing? Get out of here! Tides? <laughs> what is he doing? I want to see that again. That was an interesting animation. stuff down. Okay, where is my... Can I place a marker? Okay, there we go. Let's see if I cut just straight through. 
I'm probably gonna cross some black forest, which could be a problem. We'll see. Oh, we don't even have a, a torch. That could be a real problem. Two boar. Oh, why are they always next to stone? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, ooh, this seems like a good place for flint as well. I guess just in general. Seems like it's just a good area for a lot of this. does make me wonder how biomes are set in this game. So here, here we get into Black Forest. But it's just a little bit. If I had realized that earlier, it would have just kept going south. Your nice little house. Did anything keep following me? Oh. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. Boom. Or should really unload all the things I don't need. Nope. I'll have to build another one. Most of the weight I was carrying. And then the miscellaneous stuff I'll put here. The trophy, the resin. Resin isn't very heavy. These and the seeds. Have my meats here. Yeah, these are pretty light, so they're okay. this tiny black forest area. Back into meadows. We 
Let's do some flint search. Good flint over here. Flint. That guy's following me in the water. Get away from me. He's really going for it. Both of them. bit of a problem in and of itself. Extra food should give us a little bit more juice to keep going. This looks pretty good. There we go. Ooh, another day. Oh, my life. Fifty two. Flint. That's plenty of flint. Maybe I might have to start focusing more on leather. It seems like leather really... Like flint axe. I could do flint axe. Flint axe. Maybe a flint knife could be really good. A reliable tool. Need two leather scrap. Let's try making that. There might be something interesting with the knife that I'm not familiar with. We might be able to do the knife. I'm going to make the flint axe. Make the ooh, that's fun. I'll make the wood shield. Here we go. So I can do eight and six. There we go. Let me see. One handed sharpen flint. I'll Five slash six pier six. So we have blunt twelve. Wait, knock back parry force block power. I think it's still better to have. I'll switch the that. Be my final trip for the night. 
might be going soon. We'll see. Wow, so far it's actually been six hours. Ah! What happens when you... Oh, let me try the, the knife. Here you go. That was more powerful, it felt. I usually have to swing twice. Does it do stacked damage? Slash and pierce, so it does 12 versus 12 of... Interesting, so those stacked. Are you getting sleepy? No, I'm actually okay. Uh, it was something that... I don't know if you were here for when I mentioned that in the first stream. I think the, the hardest thing for me, especially when I was streaming, was that... I would... Don't, don't sit down. I was always get headaches probably like a couple hours into the stream and I would have to stop. I couldn't stream more than two hours. And it turned out that it was because of the lights. The lights would give me headaches just because I had them pointed direct at, directly at my face. But turns out that with the setup I have here, it's perfect. I don't get anything, any pain at all. But before, I would always be in pain when I was streaming. So, it allows me to go a lot longer because I'm feeling great. Like, I feel awesome. This was when I was in Brazil, even when I was streaming from college, recording vi videos in college. Always, since, like, 2010. <laughs> Any video I recorded, it, that was just reality. My entire recording career that I've ever done was always like that. And I thought it was just a normal thing. It was only recently when I, <laughs> I looked it up, like here, like before I started streaming now, I looked it up and I was like, hey, you should turn the lights away or like to use different indirect lighting so that it doesn't hurt you. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> which is such a stupid thing. <laughs> Such a stupid thing. But... I actually, I think it's a good thing for me to be saying this often. As often as I have been saying it after I started streaming again, because... I'm sure that people, some pe someone is going to make the same mistake I made. And I don't want them to have to be in pain. For as long as I had to be in pain. And it probably did some real damage to my eyes, because it... It's bad. For you. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's getting close to, to your usual bedtime, so... Feel free if you... If you would like to go, if you would... Don't... Don't hold yourself back because of me. <laughs> Don't expose my bedtime. Hey now. I feel like knowing each other's name is fine. Now speaking in a more serious manner, but I feel like if we ever outed what college we went to, that would be a problem. Because now, because since these are recordings, right, the people will be able to see this for years to come, or even months later. I feel like it would make it a little bit too easy to... Why am I using my hands? It's one of those things. Because, I mean, there's a bunch of people with the same name, but when you start getting other pieces of information, that beca starts becoming more of a thing. And I think that's just in general. People get... People get... Uh, docked so, so often. I, I don't remember if that's the, the right word. But people will call the FBI on them. So the FBI will come to their house and... Like, 
take their door down and like pretty much arrest them until they discover that someone prank called the FBI to come. <laughs> and it's horrible, like I've seen so many streamers get caught like that. And it's not just terrible for them if they're living with anyone. Imagine just have the F FBI coming in thinking that you're a terrorist or something. Because like s some people may call them and be like, they have a bomb or something like that. So they will come, but... So that's the thing, I think, the only thing that I personally definitely want to be careful about. Like, no one knowing my address, no one knowing anything. Mostly because of that. Like, I don't think that anyone... going to maliciously do it in especially in the in the normal group of people that you usually watch but there's always some someone that can pop up and want to do something like that which is sad but sadly it happens look at that pig it's swimming swimming pig look at it go where is it going it's going away from land <laughs> where are you going buddy are you going to the other island Look at him go! <laughs> I can't even swim that far, because I have stamina. <laughs> I can't make it that far. So that pig... Oh, it's coming back. That pig is the true hero hero we needed, and that we deserved. How much flint do I have? Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a good amount of flint now. Now I guess I need more leather. I need to kill more pigs. I've been looking for flint because it's, there isn't much around for me, so I've just been going around looking for flint, but I think I'm gonna go back and start killing a bunch of pigs. Or we can start farming them, but it said they like roots. Pigs like to eat roots, so maybe- oh, mushroom. Mushroom. So maybe I can lure the pigs out with mushroom. Because I can make a little pig farm. I think I have enough flint at this point. Oh, this is a good flint zone. Low waters like this. Oh, look at this. It's flint land. Oh, there's another one there. So I'm probably going to go back now and focus more on pig. Maybe start a pig farm. Something like that. It's interesting because it's so much more complicated and involved than something like Minecraft, which is... To me, it seems very simple to do a lot of things. Obviously, you can. There's a lot of depth. But to a lot of the simple things, it's a lot easier. And it has its merits for that, but I also enjoy the, the fact that some of these simpler things, they are a challenge too. They're a process. And it kind of makes it so the early game isn't so easy and cut and dry. So, can I kill the deer? The club? Oh, the deer's too fast. <laughs> can you grow wheat and make bread? Probably, honestly. I have not gotten to that point yet. But I think you probably can. That's the thing, too, with this game. This game is as if it's Minecraft in 2008 before they added more and more things. Because this is where it is in its life cycle right now. This game just came out in the last two weeks. And it's like in pre-release. As in, it's not done yet. So it's like when Minecraft was in beta or whatnot. Okay. How do I lure... The boar. It's 
wild and it's right. I wonder if there's a way for me not to frighten the boar. I think this one, there'll be no way. I think I'll have to. But I wonder if there's a way for me to... Oh, this is our, our running pig. Aww. I don't want to kill the running pig. This land is hard and wild, but harder still. Comfort traveler in the gifts of the forest. I'm trying to read. Look also for the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and end of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Your stock roots of the ground are their pleasure. Eat of your stock. Okay. I'm back. Also, wow. Recognize those. Oh, yeah, you know how to read it, some of these. That's right. Okay. I really... I want these pigs to, to chill. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to kill you. I really don't want to kill you. Really? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have to put your boys down. figure out how to get the pigs. And I won't look this up because this is a, now part of the interesting process of kind of like figuring out how to do this. Hello. to them. Here they are. Okay. okay, he's coming. Quickly, quickly. No pigs are coming towards the rune stone. They were all attacking me when I was reading this rune stone. Okay, okay, okay. Away from the rune stone. Maybe I should put up my knife away. These pigs! Come back! Piggy, piggy, piggy. That's a water pig again. But yeah, I feel like these runes actually read what this says. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that that is the case with this game. And try approaching the pig a little bit more aggressively. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, pig, what's your deal? How am I supposed to approach these guys? They're the worst. 
They're literally the worst. Also, takes so much stamp. Where did the water pig go to? Is my stomach feeling better? It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, oh. Thankfully, now it is. Oh, 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 oh! Pig! Pig! Yeah, maybe I should eat something. Especially after all that. Okay, 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 okay. Boom. Oh, oh. Are you making noise attract them? No. Said, specifically said, go towards them quietly. Hello, pig. Hello, pig. Ready for this pig? What was that? That pick up. The stealth pig. What is this? Okay, okay, pig, check this out. Bam! Oh, oh, I did it! No! Oh, my work. Okay, so you do do it like that. Yeah, no, so it does work. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make a little pig pen. I'm gonna make a little pig pen, but I'll look for more mushrooms along the way. I guess you do do it like that, but oh, and it's gonna follow me now. So maybe I could actually use this, even this specific pig, for my pig farm. Should I actually cross that? I actually went really far where I was supposed to go. Don't they like roots? That's what I thought. How do you know that- from what they said, they said roots and like, stuff like that, so I was thinking mushroom because mushroom, like, is mostly underground. It is the closest thing to a root that I have access to. Like a root food. Because otherwise I would think carrot, or beets, or something like that. And I kind of, you know, know that some pigs do enjoy mushrooms and stuff like that because of truffles and stuff like that. So, that was my thought process at least. Whoa. Running on the wall. Scary and dark. The night music. And spook. And spooky. A lot of sound. I'm also kind of looking for mushrooms are hard to see because of all the grass and all this stuff. But I wonder if even like berries if they would enjoy berries as well. Uh -oh. I feel like an Olympian running with a torch. He has such good form. You can probably ride deer too if you like are able to... to calm them and stuff. I'm sure you can do so many things in this game that I'm just completely unaware of. Oh, I can... Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. I was going in the slightly wrong direction. Get out of my house. Bed needs a fire nearby. 
You dreamt of great tree reaching out through the night, when half of its branches crackle with flames, the other are green. Now to beat some baddies with my flint knife. Punk. Ooh! Ooh! Alright, I'm gonna unload my stuff and I'll start making a farm of some sort. I like that the reflections are- not reflections, the shadows are actual shadows. I mean, it's kind of weird with <laughs> how it's dancing, but like, it, it's actually making real shadows. Which again, compared to a lot of other survival games that I'm familiar with, not really a thing. Like, there's a lot of nice little touches that i really been enjoying. Okay, I'm gonna need more wood. Oh, I should cook some more meat. Ah! Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Alright, cooking. There we go. Um... What does it mean? Wait, what are you talking about? What does what mean? I am exposed. The dream? Oh, I don't know. That's the cool thing. Because it has story and it has, like, goals and stuff, I think it might have to do with the things that we have to, to accomplish. Maybe we will find whatever that is that she, that the dreams are mentioning. Maybe we will find those things. Which, that's why, too, I think this is so interesting. It's not just... It's not just random kind of stuff that you just do and survive and whatnot, but... Why is it going upward? that I, I know are up here. Here's one. Maybe I'll do one at a time, because I don't know where the other one is. Come on, boar. Oh no. Come on. Come in. Come in. Ah, can they not come in through the door? Maybe they can't. Uh, destroy the door then. Prepare to close it in. There you go. You're going crazy. Alright. Maybe it knows. 
Yes. No. <laughs> It's going far. Four, come back. Hello. It's okay if I'm stuck in here with it. Boom. Hey! There we go. Okay, I need to get another one. Also, I need to let it chill. So that it, it's not aggravated anymore. I need to find another one. Also, I should, probably shouldn't be walking around with a big fence on my I want them to make babies. Make bar babies. Oh, hello there. Hello there. <gasps> Carrot seeds. Maybe this. Okay, so the white flowers are like carrot seeds. I will keep an eye out for those, because that might be exactly what they like. Yes. Yes. I'm learning the way of the pig tending. And I can start a plantation, a carrot plantation. Alright, so up here... That's what I am going to do. I'm going to start something a little bit higher up here. Yep, yeah, right here. Go with my... start my plantation right here why is this land turning out so flat when the last time I tried really didn't hmm is that my too far What's the range on my house oh it's too far well, I guess I have to build another workbench out here Random idea for a game. Survival type where you're immortal. But time is fast and everything evolves around you. Interesting. What what would you be doing? Like what would be the Kinda like the goal of the game, the I like the idea. Wanna know more? This is gonna be where I put the
would it be something where it's like... So a survival game where that is happening around you. I'm trying to see... What do you mean by grow around you? Natural things, so like trees grow around you and stuff like that. Whoa. Okay. Path it. I'm gonna path in this. I'm gonna make it so it pathens all the way to my house. Like, history of one people, group, or clans. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting because the the genre that already does that is one that does not focus on this at all. Uh, but it would be interesting to see something like that. Uh, it's the... the genre of... Um, real-time strategy of something like Age of Empires, or something like that. But those are very different from... from anything I would... These carrot seeds on what? On the ground? <laughs> um... What do I do with carrot seeds? Plant these if you like carrots. Ow. You're telling me I, I can't. No, I think it I think it's very interesting. And I am curious about it. But I I'm trying to figure out exactly what it would look like. How do I make it, shall we? I'll just have to. I like that this kind of looks like a, a place you would see. Like a little. I do feel a little bit bad for the piggy. Piggy. Sorry, buddy. He's a mush. Next thing I'm like, close to the Let's see. They can be planted using the cultivator to grow. What in the world is a cultivator? Made from a forge. Forge. 
how to build a forge. Oh, this is really advanced. Doesn't seem like I'll be growing anything soon. Might as well just, I guess, so I'm gonna put the seeds away. I don't think, oh, that that's full. I don't think I'm meant to do that quite yet. <laughs> Seems a little bit distant. Can put a boar head in my room. Is that what that is? <laughs> I don't know how to place things. <laughs> That's a problem. Piggy, no. Piggy's so scared it doesn't want. Maybe this isn't the way. Oh, oh, I want to kick the pig. Here you go, piggy. You're free. Be free, piggy! Be free! Be free, piggy! Oh no, he doesn't know what freedom is anymore. Yes, be free! Yeah, just from looking at that, you can build a forge, you can build like so many different tools. You can b become a blacksmith, so that's why you can, if you're playing with many people, you could totally make a community. There is room. Stop killing me, pig! I'm saving you. Um, so there is room for a lot of that kind of stuff. I think I'm gonna stop here for the day. I feel like I'm at a bit of a wall, and I think that's fine. I just have to find more and better ways for me to cultivate more leather. Maybe I need like a bow and an arrow. Maybe that should be my next goal. Making a bow, I need more leather. Because that will make it easier for me to get deer and stuff like that. I can even craft wood arrows right now. I could even craft uh, flint head arrows, which would probably make. But for now, I guess I just I would just need to get more leather. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that right now. Where did I see pigs? There's a lot of pigs in this area. Maybe that's what I'll do. Right now. <gasps> pig, are you destroying my stuff? Get away from my stuff, pig. Sorry, but I have no way of keeping you as of yet. We'll have to find a way. Until I do. Will be murder. Oh, little piggies. What? I really. Ooh, got a neck trophy. I just have to look for pigs. I tend to be in more open areas. Deer. Ooh, hunting deer is probably going to be real, really fun. Because you have to be quiet, you have to approach with the... Hello? That'll be a, an interesting development in the gameplay. In comparison to what it is right now.
Ooh, this is a nice area. There's a not lot of very nice areas I could have just built on. I love the diff- Also, gonna help me get birds and stuff, which I need for a lot of the recipes. I have a chance to fly away. Or into the ground like that one just did. <laughs> becoming night or is it becoming morning? Oh, there you go. There's some more. Starboard. Well, I guess I should turn my thing off. You're afraid of it. Ooh, I'm one health. I am one health. Guess it is a good idea to have this. <laughs> One hell. It's interesting that they have the direction of the wind on the map. Like, they don't have many things on the map, but they do have the direction. Good night, Kylie. Hope you sleep well. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for spending such a long time here with me. That's awesome. I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be calling it a night very soon. Oh wow, I got up to 140 followers. Look at that. Fun. Oh, my sub golden update. Just realized. There we go. Oh, wait up. You know the histories, tales in Skyrim? Yep, yep. I do know of, of them, yes. Imagine playing through them, but they're all about generations of three clans rivalry. Time moves in seven cycles, which represent periods of 50 years. Five hours of gameplay each, but replayable for a different ending. That would be really cool.
I would be interested in seeing something like that. I really would. I think that that could be really interesting. Why do we have one feather? I guess I guess I'm gonna go just normal wood arrows. Wood. Okay. So, if it really makes me think, even it, it's just the time passage, passage thing, makes me think of Civ even, because every turn is a is a set number of years that go by but it would be not so f like above from civilization perspective from what i understand but more of like you are a single person but you are still doing these things This is what I'm pointing out is not like, oh, why this one more, but one of the things that would have to be, definitely have to be figured out is just how how it's gonna work for, well, I guess if it's on the survival level. One, one game that it definitely makes me think of, and I don't know if you played or heard of it, but I'm sure you probably heard of it, but Spore. Obviously, it doesn't have stories like that. It's more about just the progression of of a species, and it, like you can evolve it, but eventually you get to the civilized part, and so you do see the evolution of that. Like you have the, a clan, and you're trying to make others join your clan. You know, after it just becomes about goes from survival to more civilization and then it even becomes intergalactic you visiting other planets i feel like some of what you want to tap into is kind of something that was done there but they didn't really succeed very well in doing it so i think that there's still a lot of untapped potential in an idea like that but i would love to see what could be done with something like that. This actually looks really nice. I like how the region around the house kind of has become more of a... Like, it, it has a little farm area, even though we don't have anything yet, but it kind of looks like a house of the period. You know what I mean? Just wood. I'm gonna make one more change here. Oh, I shouldn't have done the bot one. Actually, I should do top one full, and then this one I do have. Okay. 
do that for run. I'm gonna add a Oh no. Go again. Then I'm gonna add a little roof. A little Yeah, so, I'd be curious to see that idea, and how it would work in a, looking at it practically as a game. Because bridging that gap, and that's the big difficulty that something like Sport did try, it's just difficult to make something where you're, the passive of time is going so quick, and you're seeing such big changes around you just because it becomes harder to relate to what's happening because everything becomes less important. So that's why I, I would be very interested in seeing like how, what would be a solution for that. What could be done there? Actually possibly make it work. This is, I think, where I'm gonna ah, stop for the day. Oh, did my clothes just break? That's gonna be it for me tonight. This was quite a long stream. Seven hours. Seven hours streaming. It's not bad. Not bad. This is looking a lot more pleasant too. I need to get rid of that piece of wood protruding from the side there. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by today. I mean, Matthew, you stopped pretty much the entire <laughs> stream. You've been around. I'm very thankful for that. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good time. Oh, oh let me take care of this guy here. is going to be it for me, however. Let's go back to the menu, because it has nice music. Ominous music, now. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and hope you have a good night, have a good day, wherever you might be. And I will see you on Friday. As always, as a reminder, streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from 8 to around midnight, EST. I will be back in a couple days. Good night, everyone.